If you've ever watched a nature documentary, you'll likely know the life cycle of the salmon, in which after they spawn, they all die. Or do they? Well, nature sometimes has other plans. If we look at Pacific salmon, those six species of salmon all die after spawning. And this is an important part of the life cycle, as the nutrients from all these dead fish feed the many invertebrates in the river, which in turn feed the young salmon. So it's all part of nature's grand plan. While Pacific salmon all die, what about their Atlantic cousins? Do they all die after spawning? Atlantic salmon are a different kettle of fish. Pretty much all the males will die after spawning, as they use so much energy trying to mate with as many females as possible, and guarding reds, it ultimately takes its toll. But females are different. Once she's spawned, she'll return to sea to feed up, and if she can make the gauntlet safely back out, she will return several times, as is often the case with larger fish. According to Nature Scotland, it's about 90 to 95% of all Atlantic salmon that die after spawning, so the odds are stacked against them. So some large salmon will be multiple spawners, breeding every year or so. It's incredible, really. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you want to comment down below with any more fish myths to prove or unprove, I'll get round to it. Cheers.